Hey, it's Melinda Taylor, the breast cancer slayer, and I am here to pass on another more than pink cape to another more than pink hero. This person has been an inspiration to me for many, many years. And as I was going through my breast cancer journey, this person um, actually inspired me daily to keep going, to never give up, and to fight. And this person, uh, I watched this person go through her own journey. She's a survivor, not a breast cancer survivor. She's a stroke survivor. She had a stroke at a very young age in her early uh, 30s, and she had to uh, she had to overcome a lot of challenges, including uh, like speech therapy. There were so many challenges that I watched her uh, go through and overcome. And so when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, she was right there. She lived in another state, but she made her presence felt in every way possible. And she also uh, flew, flew in from Atlanta to be with me. Um, in my time of need, she sent inspirational words, text messages, letters, cards, <clears throat> gifts. Um, I looked at her and I looked at everything that she had gone through and I looked at her strength and I looked at the, the grace and mercy that God had upon her to allow her to make it uh, through her journey so gracefully. And um, I just I felt like if I could fight half as as well as she did then then i would be okay and i drew strength from her um her name is wale she's she's like my sister i i absolutely love wale wale is awesome i call her wonderful wale because that's what she is she is absolutely wonderful aside from what she um has done for me she has taken it to a whole nother level to help survivors not just breast cancer survivors but survivors of stroke uh people who um have disabilities or handicaps because what most people don't talk about or I guess what most people don't even know is that it's really hard going back to work after you've had um, like a stroke or breast cancer going back to work and fitting back into that corporate fitting back into the work box it's really hard I worked um, during my breast cancer journey and when I would go to work I, I always tried to avoid people I tried to avoid everybody I tried to go into the office when nobody was there like super super early and do my work um, but it was really hard it was hard for me because I prior to chemotherapy was very high functioning and I was able to multitask which really I learned is not good but I was able to multitask and do so many different things but once I had chemo that changed my brain um, and it was hard for me to do more than one thing at a time. It was hard for me to answer a phone, check my email, listen to somebody tell me, give me orders or directions, and answer another phone line that's ringing and do, like, it was just hard to even do any of that stuff, aside from the fact that I would forget what I was doing. Like, I might be in the middle of an email and completely lose track of what I was doing or I, I would have trouble finding the words, the right words. People think that chemo brain is like a joke, but it is so real. I thought I was losing my mind when it first started happening to me, but Wale was able to help me because Wale is developing a program. Um, it's called Neurodiversity, and hopefully corporations and companies will you know, uh, embrace this because neuro means, you know, in the mind, like there are some changes that happen in the mind for uh, breast cancer, for anybody who's going through chemo, for especially for, for cancer patients and stroke uh, survivors, the mind, there's something that happens and there's scientific proof that there is something that really happens. Chemo brain is not a theory, it's real. And it takes a while to completely recover. Like I still have moments where it's just hard. Like Going even going through the flight attendant training, it was so scary because I had problems memorizing things and with memory. But anyway, Wale has started this program and she's rolling it out in in hopes that uh, businesses and corporations and the corporate world will embrace this because it's hard to come back to work after you've you know dealt with this type of a trauma. And so Wale's program helps ease 
you know, people back into it and it, it helps. Uh, she's trying to help corporations and, and businesses understand um, how to accommodate people who have, have experienced these traumas and how, um, how their skills can still be used, but it just has to be, uh, you know, it accommodated in a different way, so to speak. So, Wale, this cape is for you, for all that you do. For all that you do for survivors and people like us. Um, thank you so much. It's been really uh, hard going back to work, and I appreciate what you are doing to make it easier for us to transition into the workplace. Thank you so much. You are more than pink, my hero. Mwah.